almost back to Olympia season number two. Holy moly, this channel has been alive for two Olympia seasons. Now that is crazy. Last Olympia season, you had this troll. And this Olympia season, you get this troll, okay? And I'm actually back, okay? This time, I promise, I will actually get two videos a week, okay? I'm gonna start recording ahead of time. God dang it. Dude, it's taking me so long to get back into the groove because not only do I have like a ton more classes now, like literally Monday through Wednesday I have classes so I can't even record on those days. But then again, I have like early due this Sunday, which is even worse. So then every time I have an opportunity to record, I'm like, nah, I'm just going to relax so that I can actually work on my essays. So yeah, that's what's been happening, but don't worry, we're getting back into it. And we are going to start with some epic Yusuko stuff. Hello everybody, I'm Karar, and today we are going to get started back with the Yusuko walkthroughs because you guys are asking for it, and it is coming up in only a month, okay? We are going to be doing Yusuko 2020 Open Contest Social Distancing. I think I did the bronze version, but I'm assuming the silver version is harder. It better be harder, otherwise there's no point. So let us do it. Okay, so Farmer John is worried for the health of his cows after an outbreak. <laughs> What's like the outbreak of the highly contagious bovine disease Calvin 19 variant? In order to limit transmission of the disease, the end cows have decided to track it okay and spread them okay. <laughs> it's a 1D number line, seems legit, and you got M disjoint intervals. Okay, nice. So basically, they want to locate themselves at distinct integer points such that they're covered in grass as to maximize the value of D, where they're okay. So please help determine the largest possible value of D. Okay, so okay. Makes sense. So essentially the idea is, okay, within each interval, like the best way to put like two cows in an interval is to put them at the opposite ends, right? I guess, yeah. Okay, they're mutually distinct, which means that there's going to be a first, second, third, there's a clear ordering to these like um, intervals, right? So there's obviously a first interval, there's a second interval, there's a third interval. Okay, that's relevant, I think. <laughs> I don't even know anymore. I haven't done use go in like eons. Okay, there's 10 to the 5 of each, so we can't try... Fancy stuff. Wait, why don't we just put all of them, like, we take the first uh, starting point and the last ending point, and we just put the cows in, and then try to fit them in after we do that. Does that help us at all? Because in this case, right, you have, like, uh, five cows, and you have nine spots, so the distance between them would be approximately, like, two. So, yeah, it'd basically be, like, zero, two point something, blah, blah, and then you round it or something. It's gonna be a very smart way to do it. Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. Okay, okay. I'm pretty sure there's just like a binary search on D, right? Like basically, like, so let's just say you fix D to be 2, right? That means that each cow has to be 2. So the way you would do it is you would put the first cow at 0, like right, like the first open spot. Like there's no reason you would put it anywhere else other than the very start of like the disjoint intervals, right? Is there any reason why you would not want to do that? No, like it's all, it's always going to be worse if you put it over 1. So yeah, essentially you put it at the very left, and then you move over two, you put the next guy there if it's in the interval, otherwise you put it at the beginning of the next interval. Well yeah, this is so big brain. Well yeah, okay. So essentially, like, the way you, like, see this, right, is that if you fix the distance, you could, like, really quickly figure out whether it works, right? You just place each cow out of location. You start at the left, you move over D, you put the next cow, but if there's no like patch of grass there, then you move it over to the start of the next place where there is grass. And if you could do it fast, then binary search works because you basically do log in time to search for the number and each check to check each number, it only takes n time. So overall, there's going to be an n log n, which is good enough. Well, n log like 10 to the 18, but that still works because log is kind of epic. So let us code this big boy up. Uh, well, I'll probably just show you guys in Photoshop because I was just using my nasty hands and hands are boring as heck. Okay, yeah, so basically the idea is you have like a bunch of these like disjoint boys and essentially we fix our D, right? We say D is equal to like 5, let's say. We put our guy down here and then we go 5 over. We say it's here, right? And we're like, okay, there's no grass there. So we just put it at the next possible spot. So we put another cow right here and then we go over 5. Oh, wait, the 5 is still in a... Uh, patch, we'll just put it right there, like at five away. And then we go over, and then there's another five, and then you go over the another five, and you see, oh, we could get, um, like, how many cows could we get? We get five cows. But what happens if we had to fit in ten cows? Then clearly, d is equal to five does not work, so then we would shrink d. But then, if our n was only three, we only had to fit in three cows, then maybe we could do with a bigger distance, right? Like, Obviously, we're over, we, we're getting way more cows than we need, so we could increase our distance. And then we just keep binary searching until we get our answer. Alright, nice. Now we could code this boy up. Shall we use Python? Let us use C++, because C++ is kind of epic. Alright, so soft disk 
And let's do it. Okay, so we'll include, okay, someone told me to use bits dot whatever, so how, how do we do this? Dude, I used to be doing input and output the most inefficient way possible and I had to change all my CNs to FNs. This way, the only thing you had to do if you want to change your CNs to FNs, you just comment this out and it's CN. And if you uncomment it out, now it's actually going to be using your file. So it's very nice. All right, all right, so why don't we do our variables? We need our int n, comma n, we need our d's, all right, d's nuts, wait, what? No, that's not what I'm, no, 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 I got too distracted, god dang it. No, it is like intervals, what should I call it? Intervals, here, int, int, intervals. And we'll have 10 to the 5 of these boys. All right, so now that we got it set up, we gotta read it in, so c n, n, c n, m, and then for int i equals zero, i less than m, i plus plus, and then we basically just see an intervals i dot first, intervals i dot second. All right, so now we read everything in, and now we got to sort it. So sort intervals, comma intervals plus m. All right, got to include algorithm. Okay, so now we got to implement our binary search. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to um, have a check method. So we'll check, and we'll basically just take in int d. And when we take in an int d, we basically want to check whether this works to have give us n count, right? So basically what we're going to do is we're going to have our current interval, right? We want to start at the left interval and we want to keep going right as we like get past intervals, right? So int current is equal to zero. We start at the leftmost interval and then, well actually let's say this current x and then we want a current interval. So we want our current like latest cow and then we want our current interval, okay. And then we also need our current number of counts. So int count equals zero. Okay. Or no, we start with one because we for sure get the left most dude. Oh wait wait. So I guess we just have to keep going n times. And if it ever gets past your, um, if it ever gets like current interval goes past all of the possible intervals, then we end and say it's false. Okay. So we can even take this out. For int i equals one, i less than n, i plus plus. All right. So now we put down the second count. So we do current x plus equals d, and then we check if it's in the current interval, right? So while car x is less than interval, car interval dot second, or greater than, I guess, or no, sorry, less than uh, car interval dot first. So basically, if it's before our current interval, then we need to, no, it should be after. Okay, yeah, so if it's greater than car interval dot second, then we got to increment it, okay. And we also need to make sure that car interval is less than m. Okay, so now the car interval is either after us or on top of us. So now we just need to check if it's after us, we need to shift over our current x to the start of that interval. But if it's on us, then we're fine. We're at the right place. Like basically the idea is like if we're here, right, this, our current interval is going to be this guy and it's not on top of us. So we would have to shift this guy over right there. But if we were like here and we go over here and we're like, oh, we don't have to increment our current interval, our current interval is here and it's on top of us, then we're already good. We don't need to shift it anywhere. Well, let's just say if our interval ever is equal equal to m, then we want to return false. Otherwise, wait, are these inclusive? Yeah, they're inclusive, so nice. But otherwise, we want to check uh, if intervals, car interval dot first is greater than car x, car x is equal to interval car interval dot first. All right. Okay, so if it basically gets through the entire for loop without ever reaching the end, then we basically could just return our true. Okay, nice. All right, so now our check is working. Now we have to implement the binary search. And basically, binary search could either go from 0 to 10 to the 18. So we'll just make our low and our high that. So we'll basically do int. Oh, should we do long, long? Okay. Uh, let's just make everything long, long. Hold up. Uh, looks good. Okay. Long, long here. All right. So long, long, low is equal to zero, and long, long, or well, it says solution with d greater than zero guaranteed to exist. So that's fine. And then we'll do long, long, high is equal to um one, or we just do power ten, comma. 18 plus 1. All right. Okay, so now that we have this, we basically have to do while low is less than, or low plus 1 is less than high, we're going to keep going from there. So the first thing we need is we need our mid, okay? So our mid is going to be our halfway point between low and high. And then we just do if check mid, 
So let us logic this out, right? So basically, if it's working, right, if we could fit in 10 cows, then we could afford to make our distance larger. But if it's less than it, then we can't afford to make our distance larger. So if it works, then we basically do low is equal to mid. Otherwise, we do uh, high is equal to mid. So high is equal to mid minus 1, which basically, okay, yeah, that's right, that's right. All right. And then at the very end, we just see out low. Now let us see if this is correct. Let us try it. Oh, I should probably uh, comment these boys out. Oh, well, that does not seem right. Low is that big boy right there. Okay, let's see. So our check is not working, I guess. Okay, let us see out. Check two. So that should work because uh, two works. Okay. Whoops, that's not what I meant to paste. Hold up. Okay, so one means true. Okay, and then if we do three, it, I guess it will say true, but why is that? Oh, what? It says no. Wait, wait, what? Then how did it get so hot? Okay, so our check is working then, so I guess we just need to figure out what the problem is here. Okay, why don't we just, at the very beginning of each time, we're just going to print out our low and our high and see what happens. So if it's always going up, that means our check is messed up, I guess. Or, well, I'll go to C, so. See out, low, see out, hot. Paste this, oh, oh what? So it's always going up? Oh, hold up. Let's see. Oh, it takes in an in. Okay, that would, that would make a lot of sense. All right, that would make a lot more sense. Hey, let's go. I think it worked. Okay, so here we will just see out our low. And now we get rid of this boy. And it's two. Epic. Okay, so now <laughs> all we got to do to make this work for files is we do that. And then we download this boy and we should be good. Dude, I haven't seen the green in so long. Please give me a green. I bet. Come on. At least have pity for a guy who hasn't seen the green in so long. Please. Let's have mercy. I beg. Yes. What? No. Come on, dude. Come on, bruh. No. Why? Why? Why you gotta do this to me? So five? What? What does five have so special? Largest possible value of... Okay, no two interval. Is okay, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so if it's in the end point, that's what we said. So that's fine. So if the, it's the greater, then yes, okay, that makes sense. If it's greater, then... Yeah, so if they're not in the interval, it's greater. Okay, that's right. Huh. Let's see. Okay, I think the problem is right here. Okay, so basically, let's think about this. So basically, you have i is equal to 1, which means you're placing the second guy. So you go through here, you check where you're going to place the second guy, you find the interval that you can place him, and it breaks if you can't place that guy. But if you could place the guy, then it doesn't break. So that means that n minus 1, it'll be placing the nth guy, which is right, right? Like, we don't need to place more than n guys, right? Oh, oh, bro, dude, what the heck? No, 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 no. Okay, so this is not necessarily, oh my, okay, yeah, yeah, so this is, this is not necessarily 0, okay. Bruh, bruh, that's so stupid, okay. Alright, now that should work, okay. God dang, dude, it took me so long to figure out. Holy smallest brain. Okay, we should be chilling now. Let's do it. What? No, what? That's not right still? What? Hold up. No, no, no. That's what? No way. Hold up. What? That's not the problem? Hold up. Oh, dude, I turned. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm so. Bruh. I turned in the old one. <laughs> Bro, okay, okay. <laughs> what the heck? Bruh, I'm such a troll. God dang it. Okay, there we go. <laughs> this is what happens if you don't do Yuzuko for like two months. Well, no, more than that. Like, what? <laughs> like a ton of time, bruh. But anyways, there we go. We finally solved it. But I hope this was helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe for more. Let me know what other Olympiads you guys want me to like do on the channel. So I will be happy to do that. For now though, I'm probably just going to focus on Yusuko walkthroughs, AP crash courses, and lastly, like my extracurricular stuff. So thank you guys for watching again. See you guys next time.